Hey guys, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate you. Now let's get to it. All right, Average Gamer signing on back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, it is finally time for the month two end, Evo end tier list. I was thinking, because I did my first tier list right at July 2nd, and I was going to do another one on August 2nd, you know, keep the month going. But then I was like, Evo's just around the corner. I'm a pretty reactionary dude. I might change my opinion. So let me wait till Evo's over. And then I waited like another week because I had stuff to do. So finally, we are here with the tier list, okay? We're gonna get it done. Um, I actually did make two tier lists. Um, like I said, I'm reactionary. Just to compare what I thought before Evo on like August 2nd and then after Evo. And thankfully, it is almost the same. There's like one or two character differences that I will point out as we go along. But in general, um, what should you guys know? Every character in this game, I think has proven to be good. Um, I personally, bias right now, I play Ken and Rashid, uh, two characters that, surprise, surprise, I think are very good. So if any disagreements kind of take that bias in mind, I may be gassing or downplaying, you know, just because my character might lose or completely dominate. So with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, oh, do I want to go in the order of this or the tier order? No, we'll just go tier order. Screw it. Um, first up, let's get the top tiers out of the way. One. Let's see here. Where are you? Two. Uh, three. Four. Let's start with these four, because I think that's definite. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my guy. Again, biased. Uh, yeah, Ken's very good. He's an insanely well-rounded character. Shout out Angry Bird winning Evo. Um, he pretty much has every tool to win. Has a neutral skip, has a great low forward. Normals are solid. Damage with and without meter are all right. Normals are good. Fireball is okay. It makes up for some of his normals being relatively stubby. Um, I think the reason he's not top three, but he is top five, is his damage without meter, although is good, is not great. Um, he does have a fireball to compensate for some of his normal, uh, some of his normal being stubby, excuse me, but it's not the best fireball in the game. I think the bottom line when it comes to Ken is he has everything to win. He does everything great but he's not the best in class at anything. Maybe, with the exception of like, maybe corner carry. He might have the best corner carry in the game. But I think there are some characters that like, match him in that regard, right? So, I just think that's probably why he's not top three, but of course, he's still top five. Well, top four. Um, Jury. Yeah, the character also very good. I think she personally has the best low short in the game. She has the best drive rush in the game as well, in my opinion. Having a dive kick is also very nice, despite some inconsistencies with the frames here and there. Normals are great. Her drive rush into stand medium uh, punch is one of the most stupid things I think I've ever seen in this game. Um, the fact that there is essentially no pushback and you're like, what, plus five, plus six? Like, that's absurd to me. Um, I think her primary issue is that I think she just has losing matchups. Similar to Ken, I didn't talk about that. Ken also, these two characters, they would be like insane, and they are, but they actually have losing matchups, right? And they actually have like a noticeable number of them. Not a ton, most of their matchups are advantage or even, um, but they actually do have losing matchups that keep them down. Uh, who I wanna talk about? I gotta sort of talk about Guile. Uh, yeah, if you saw my first tier list, um, I was a little down on Guile. I, don't, I forget what I had him. He was like top seven or eight, maybe. I was pretty down on him, but yeah. Uh, after the development over the past month and also looking at Evo, this character is absolutely absurd. I think him and Luke are easily challenging for the best character in the game. Um, he just plays a game of his own. That's the real issue. You have to fight him so differently and you're forced to play his game in order to beat him. He really, he doesn't really have that many bad matchups beyond like JP. Um, he doesn't really have much of a weakness. Sure, his some of his better normals are DI, 
vulnerable, but like that's hardly an issue when some characters can't, literally can't even get in on him. You're forced to parry almost everything because Sonic Boom is so good and has varying speeds. You, he can waste your meter so easily. And once you burn out against Gao, like there's nothing you can really do. So great matchups, great damage with or without meter, has an EX get off me tool, great supers. Yeah, there's, there's just no weakness with this character. Um, same thing with Luke. Uh, I think Luke, again, just has everything. Shout out Minna. Uh, great Evo placing. He has the best level one in the game, which granted, it compensates for the fact that his level two sucks. <laughs> um, but I think his level one is more broken than his level two being garbage. <laughs> you know, you being able to win the fireball war at any moment is really good. It's actually relatively inconsistent to jump, to jump over as well. He has the damage with or without meter. He has the corner carry. He has the normals. Um, crouch, crouch. Uh, what is it? Medium punch. That is a very good move, and I think that move actually beats a ton of matchups. I think it does a great job in neutral. Drive rush into back heavy punch is also very good. You blatantly being able to change your hitbox, it makes it even harder to check him. And speaking of, like his drive rush is insanely underrated. Like insanely underrated. I'm actually shocked people don't talk about it more. But yeah, he just has everything. Uh, no real weaknesses, no real losing matchups, in my opinion. Maybe like one or two. But, yep, the character's great. No real issues. Let's move on to A plus tier. Um, who am I thinking? I may actually, now I'm thinking about it, I may move some of these characters up. But I got Cammy, got DJ. Uh, Chun-Li's up there. Actually. Hold off on her. JP's up there. Blanca's up there. Um, I'll order them later. Screw it. <laughs> this is so jank. That's okay. Uh, where are my notes on these guys? Because this, this is the one I really had. This was the tier I actually had to think about. <laughs> I think these four were relatively easy. Everything else I kind of had to think about a little bit more. Okay, let's we'll start with Blanca. Keep it consistent. Um, his wake-ups are just absurd. Uh, I think that's kind of the main issue. He's very gimmicky, but I think he has answers, and I think he's still relatively unexplored matchup-wise. So I started to be like relatively conservative on his placement. Um, his level two that there's no there's no underexploring there. That that level two is absolutely broken. Um, the mental stack with this character is severe, and that's probably his best aspect. The fact that he can do like five things at any given moment is insanely stupid. And pretty much all of them puts him at such a massive advantage against you. Um, as I said, his air ball is insane. You guessing on his wake up is essentially like impossible. Like him having an, op an option that beats pretty much anything characters want to go for is just very good. His defense is absurd. His neutral is insanely underrated. I think his normals are actually really good. Uh, electricity being plus is also a massive benefit for his pressure. So, and I even talked about things like Rainbow Roll and mix ups with Doll with Blanca Chan, because I actually don't, I think those are actually crazy, but I don't even think they're the most broken aspects of his character, which honestly I think they should be. But alas, very good, very gimmicky. I'm gonna hold off a little bit on putting him higher because I think there are answers. And I think Blanca Ball in particular really has to be explored with perfect pairing things of that nature. I've gotten far better at perfect pairing it. So I'm kind of doing better against Blanca now. So I'm gonna be, again, a little concerned. If you have him higher, I'm not really going to complain that much. Uh, JP up next, uh, who was it? Japan, I think is actually fairly high on him. Um, I think they have him like top four-ish, I think, on a lot of tier lists I see. But yeah, he's insane. His zoning is incredible. His game plan is essentially burning you out and he can do that very well. Similar to Gao, he kind of forces you to play a different game as he's playing a game of his own. I think the issue with him, of course, is if you get in on him, unlike Guile, he, he struggles quite a bit. Um, so it's really a matter of can you get in on him before he before he burns you out? Because if he burns you out, he he wins like automatically. You may as well just put down the controller, get a drink of soda or water or whatever you like, because the round is over, you know? 
Um, he does have that like parry thing, which is a solid option, I suppose. But most of the time, like it's really advantageous to just try to like EXDP him or like super through it. Cause he's most likely going to try to throw you or just wait till the explosions happen. So I don't think it's that good. His level two though is very good. Um, his level three also very good. And in burnout, they just be level two in particular just becomes fucking absurd. Uh, his damage is also relatively not talked about enough in my opinion. It's not best in class. Don't get me wrong. But the fact that he has so many great conversions that do 30, 40% and then put you back at full screen absurd to me. So I think this character is very good. Uh, next up we have DJ. Um, I think the main thing about DJ that got me relatively sold on him, uh, was a, his damage, B his drive rush and C his fireball. Um, I remember on my first tier list, he was relative, he was still pretty high. I think I had him top five. I think, I think he was S tier right behind, right behind Ken. I'm pretty sure. Um, so he's still relatively in the same spot. He doesn't really have, he doesn't have a low forward into drive rush, which does hurt him. I, although the sweep is very good, especially for his air knee move. I forget what it's freaking called, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The thing that he changes his air trajectory, which he doesn't really get punished for. It's in, it's really hard to anti-air that move. Um, but yeah, no, not having a low forward hurt, but having, but his raw drive rush is very good. So I think it makes up for it, personally speaking. Um, he does have some pretty good normals, but they but they are DI vulnerable, which I think hurts him a ton. So I think that's a gap in his gameplay that kind of prohibits him from being in the best of class character. Uh, but of course, as we'll talk about with another character, damage almost always being on his side with or without meter is absurdly good. Um, it makes even some of his negative matchups relatively volatile because if he gets a good hit, like you're eating 40, 50%, right? So I just think that kind of reality helps him out a ton. And also I think because his fireball is so good, I think he fights some of these guys, uh, the top tier characters. I think he fights them very well. I actually think DJ just flat out beats Ken. I think he does very good against Jury as well and Guile. Um, so that is that. But of course he moved down one spot because I have Cammy moving up. Uh, once again, a character like Guile who I was relatively a conservative on a lot of people challenged me on that in my previous tier list but i'm a bit more sold on this character her normals are great granted uh some of the better ones are di vulnerable but i don't think that's that much of a problem because of what other things she does are very good she essentially has to play footsies to win which definitely is a negative but she has all the tools to do it well so i'm not i don't think that's really a bad thing dive kick is pretty good uh Again, inconsistent with the plus frame, so you have to space it properly, right? But if you can, it's very oppressive. Um, the reason she's not higher though, her access to damage, particularly without meter, but even with meter, is I think noticeably lower than uh, these four guys. It's even lower than pretty much these three guys as well. Um, so that'll probably be the only thing. Her corner carry is great, by the way, as well. And she probably has some of the best offensive pressure, right? She may not be like Jerry, but I think she may be a tier below. So, Cammy, very good. Uh, is that all the characters in A plus tier? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, okay, A tier, A tier, A tier. Uh, Marissa, 100%. Chun Li, 100%. Dolphim, 100%. Uh, uh mm, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off on the. I'm gonna hold off on the other guys. Okay. Uh, Dolphim. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna be like completely honest. You know, we keep it 100 out here. I'm still. I still don't, don't know about this character. Uh, I just haven't played him enough to really have an opinion. Um, although I got to see some matches, it wasn't a ton at uh, Evo. So yeah, I'm just going to be relatively conservative. Um, I see a lot of people placing him like A plus tier. Some even call him like a top three or so character. I don't know if I'm there yet because I just don't have enough data personally to put him that high. Again, this is my list. My, I can look at as many tier lists I want. I can look at as many pro players opinions as I want, but I, I still need to see it personally for me to be confident in such a placement. Um, but talking about what I do know, his float is very good. Uh, it seems really great. 
particularly against fireballs. Him, him teleporting along with with fireball slide is very good, making his little uh, sweep thing plus. Him having a throw loop is also pretty good. It is manually timed though, which sucks. So he generally requires a lot of work. Okay, my bad. I uh, had to. I'll edit that out. Had to uh, do something real quick. Uh, who are we talking about? Dawson. Uh, yeah, his floats very good. His normals are pretty good. Uh, some of them are DI vulnerable, but I don't think like that's the biggest issue. His biggest issue is obviously like his lack of a get off me tool. If you get on in on him, he he essentially has nothing besides his level three or drive reversing, which is inherently risky because of how minus it is. Um, so yeah, he just has to do a lot of work. Um, so, but what he does, he does very well. I actually think he probably has some of the better offense, at least on paper in this game. But of course that comes with the obvious negative of having one of the worst defenses in this game next to probably like Zangief or something. Um, so yep, yeah. next up we got Chun-Li. Uh, I think the best I was, was I high on her in my previous tier list? I don't remember. Um, I might have been. Anyway, I, I probably thought she was like middle of the pack, but yeah, I think she's around like, what is this? Four, eight, like, okay, she, yeah, yeah I think she's like bordering top 10 pretty much. Um, I think the main thing that holds her back is not having a throw loop. I think that's like, it doesn't kill her, obviously she's like top 10, but like it makes her offense so much easier to deal with and like i'm never like when i get in the corner against chun Li, which is pretty often um because of her fireball drive rush low forward drive rush actually being very good I, like i'm not scared to block her because she doesn't have a throw loop you know uh her walk feet are great her normals are great some of them are di vulnerable but that's okay um particularly with the stance i think her pressure can get kind of predictable um so I think she actually does have a lot of work to keep the opponent guessing. But again, I think she's pretty good. I think the main thing is that fireball drive rush. I think it helped out a lot. I think that in addition with her walk speed, she can put you in the corner relatively quickly. And because her walk speed is so good, she doesn't even have to do the uh, down down anti-air. I forget the freaking name of it, but uh, she can just walk back and then, uh, what's it, what is it? Like sand medium kick, I think. Um, so I think her her anti-airs are, although not the best, I think she has a pretty solid option because of how fast she is. Uh, Marisa. Also increased my view of her. Shout out Big Bird, obviously. Um, I think this character in a way plays a game of her own, in a way, but I think where she kind of got her thing, whereas Gal and JP, they just their play styles, you're forced to play differently. I think Marisa's play style is capable of countering some of some of the better characters in this, well, not some of the better characters, a specific play style of characters in this game. I think that because of Superman Punch and Gladius, I believe it's Gladius? Yes, yeah, Gladius. Um, those two moves in particular, she does very well against fireball characters. Um, so, you so you actually have to think <laughs> when you fight her, you can't just be out here throwing fireballs. It actually makes her relatively good against most of the against a lot of the cast. Um, problem is, doesn't really have a get off me tool. She doesn't really have reliable anti airs, so she, you can get you can get pressured like a motherfucker if you're playing as her. Uh, and people are gonna jump in on you like crazy. But similar to uh, DJ, damage always being on her side is so good. But I think that's a double edged sword because although it makes her very good, again, top 10, it makes her incredibly volatile, which I think holds her back from being like top five or whatever. Um, I think most of her matchups are even, but she can get smoked so damn quickly. However, one right read, she's in on you, she's doing a ton of damage, she burns you out quickly, so you're forced to do something. Um, and if you get burnt out, like, say goodbye. <laughs> so. I think it's a character, I think I said in my last video, tier list video, she seems like a character that's very strong against people who have passive playstyles, but if you're capable of changing your playstyles to gapping to her and then just going after her, I think she, the gaps in her game really show. But if you, but if you're comfortable just standing there, trying to throw virals, trying to zone her out, like, that's not going to work forever, at least in my opinion. Okay, uh, moving on to B tier. Um, well, this should be relatively easy. It's pretty much everyone else, right? Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna save Rashid for last. 
And then I'll also order it, like I said. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll do this. Okay, uh, Lily. Um, she, I actually don't think she's bad. She just doesn't have enough to me. Uh, I don't think her damage is particularly great. Uh, Condor Spire, Winds Charged, is very good, but, like, that's pretty much all she has, in my opinion. I, I mean, I suppose her normals are somewhat underrated. I think Stand, Medium Punch, uh, Stand, Heavy Punch, I think those moves are pretty good. Her Command Grab is good as well, but I just think her game plan is so linear. Like, she has to Wind Charge, she goes after you. If you, if you guess right, well now we're probably back in neutral. She probably backs up. She probably wind charges again, then tries to go after you again. Like I think that linear game plan is, although very powerful because wind or, because uh, windstock ex Condor Spire is powerful. I think there are so many characters that can beat you in so many other ways, and I don't think that game plan of hers is like necessarily like broken. So, I think that is where she is personally. Uh, Kim. Oh, she's, she's fallen, man. <laughs> the days of the beta are long gone, as I said before. Um, I think the main problem with her is that everything she does is too risky. Um, she's forced to put herself in minus situations quite a bit if she wants to get in. Um, like that run into, into that little sweep thing that goes pretty far. Like, that's minus. You can punish it. Her smoke, if you're on your game, you can counter hit her. Like, it's not that hard. You gotta be on your game, though, obviously. Um, her pressure has so many gaps. Like, it's just not... She, I think it's more so a knowledge check thing with her and a test of reaction time. Because I think if you have those two things, like, she doesn't do much. Um, she's fast for what it's worth. Elbow drop is very good for changing trajectory, baiting out anti-airs and whatnot. Um... Stand medium kick is very good into drive rush. Problem is, it's not as good as low short, so you're constantly having to leave your ankles exposed. Um, and yeah, her just getting that nerf, no invincible DP, it just, her defense is just not great. You can kind of just go after her. Uh, so, yep. Again, I don't even think her matchups are, are that great either, so she doesn't even have that to kind of prop her up more than she would be otherwise. Uh, who's next, Jamie? Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make my brother mad because he plays Jamie. I do think this character is insanely underrated. Um, him at level 4, I think, is arguably, like, here, to be honest. Um, but the fact that you have to get that, like, psh, it does kind of suck. You're essentially always in a position where you have to trade your Oki for uh, your Oki slash damage for drink, which I just don't think is great. Um... And plus, some of your move, some of your better move being locked behind like drinks is wild. Like your dive kick being locked at level one. Like Grant, level one's not that difficult to get. Like that's one interaction you win, you can drink. So like that's not a big deal. But like your command grab, which is absolutely broken, that being level three does really suck. Um, I think I don't know if it's just me because I fight my brother a lot, but his DP is like weirdly inconsistent with its hitbox. Like, I think it gets beat out relatively easily. Uh, he does have a great low short, though. I think his normals are pretty good. Uh, his damage is not great, especially at low level, which that's how you start most rounds. So your opponent's going to have a lot of chances. Um, what? Oh, yeah. His sweep is the most important part about him. Uh, well, the most important and the best, probably. His sweep is incredible. I think that's actually the best sweep in the game. But it is obviously a sweep so it's punishable <laughs> and if he doesn't get all three hits on you, you all three hits on you if you time it properly you can just di it so even his best tool has such an obvious counter i just don't think the character is great but he's underrated i think people need to talk about him more like i think if they change how drink worked i think this character would be very good i think he'd be almost best of class top five bordering so Tread lightly, Capcom, when we buff him, okay? Because I know this character is going to get a buff. Uh, Ryu. Um, <laughs> my first tier list, I, just, I said that he was literally just boring. Um, and to be fair, I think he is. But that boring playstyle is very freaking good. Uh, although he is B tier. I, I still think Ryu is very good. Um, his, I think I what I learned 
over the past month and watching Evo, his normals are like very good. Obviously, we knew his damage was great. We knew Dingen was great. Although you having to trade Oki to get Dingen charged and it only lasts for like one fireball or one special move, like that's kind of lame, but Dingen is still great regardless. But I think his normals are what sold me on him being like relatively higher, um, at least in my view. I think his stand heavy punch and stand medium kick are absurd. So yeah, but like he's boring. There's not much to talk about. Like it's Ryu, like we know what he's good at. I think, I just think these characters above him just have more. Um, I, th I don't think his matchups are that bad though for what it's worth. I think he's capable of beating out pretty much everyone or going even with most. Uh, Manon, uh, my, my view on her kind of went down, I believe. Um, I think her main issue is similar to Kim, but worse. She's forced to take risk on pretty much everything. Um, her medium buttons are good. Her her stand heavy kick is also good, albeit you can just drive impact it. Um, drive reversal is insanely good against her. Because the second you block anything and she tries drive rushing at you, you just DI it. You just uh, drive reversal it and there's nothing she can do. Like, whenever I fight a Manon, like, I'm, I'm drive reversing so much. I don't even do, like... Uh, drive rushes of my own because I want to conserve as much meter as I can. Um, she doesn't have a get off me tool. Real, I mean, well, besides super, but like everyone kind of has that. But um, I think the main thing that I learned from fighting more Manons and also fighting, not fighting, uh, watching Evo, her damage is very good, is great in fact but it's only with levels. When her level five damage off command grab is great, but that's like, that's her only like access to damage. Like her damage that doesn't involve a command grab is actually like relatively low. Like, and it's kind of, and it kind of puts you in a situation where you're kind of, where you're kind of just allowed to hold North against her. And there's not much she can do. Granted her anti airs are great, but like on wake up or something. Or if you miss the drive reversal and she tried driving at you, like if you eat a light trying to jump, like that's not really that big of a deal because it doesn't lead to much damage wise. So you're going to have multiple chances. And as soon as she attempts to go for a throw and you jump it, she's eating 40, 50%, depending on the character you play. So like what, what, like you can't really do much, um, as the Manon player to really pressure your opponent, um, and force them to take the throw because they don't have to take it because the option besides throw is not that rewarding. So, yep. And, uh, you, you know, y'all knew this was coming. I'm not biased, man. Although I'm a member of the society, I think everyone acknowledges Geef is the worst. Uh, he's not like terrible. In fact, like he's not that bad. He has some good things. Um, but it's, a, it's just a struggle fighting with this character. Um, he has no get off me tool. So really, it's almost similar to Marissa, but he's worse. Like, if you're a very passive player, I think Geef actually does well. Um, I think Geef does well against players who want to be passive and want to try to zone. Because it only takes, like, two good reads and you're dead. But the thing is, because his defense sucks so much, because his, he does, his air throw and things like that, although are good, they can easily be punished. Because his normals are only okay, you can kind of just go after him, and there's not much he can really do about it. Um, and this goes for like every character on this roster. Like, there's no real reason for any character to like not just go after him, and there's nothing he can do. Um, again, I'm a member of society, so uh, I'm going to complain more. The fact that his Larry is not does not have a cross up hitbox is fucking absurd. Like, that's so stupid to me. It makes him so much worse. Um, I don't know where Green Hand went. His approaching is so predictable. There's only, like he either jumps at you and you anti-air him and now he's never gonna jump again. He then does like the uh, leg drop thing. Oh, I forget what it's freaking called. Um, but that's punishable if not spaced properly. So it's not like he can just spam that up the room. He can do that little lunge knee thing, but like, he's either going to spam SPD after, or he's going to get punished for it. So like, there's nothing he can do. As soon as he gets into the corner, he loses. As soon as he gets burnt out, he loses. So yeah, he's the worst. Again, not bad, just the worst. Um, Rish, finally though, Rashid. Uh, 
Hopefully this video is not that long. Ho hopefully this is faster than my first tier list. Uh, Rashid, um, I played this character currently Diamond 2. Uh, I, th yeah, um, I got, I've played, how many matches? I think I played like 200 matches? No, one, like 100 something. Um, I think this is one of these tiers. I'm gonna go here, personally. I'll, I'll order them later, like I said. Um, Rashid is very good. His access to damage is not the highest, besides like Eagle Spike, and Eagle Spike is very good. Um, I think he's designed, I think his natural state was like, he's a very gimmicky character, but I don't think he's gimmicky on purpose. Like, I don't think Capcom designed him the way they designed Blanco, for instance. I just feel like a lot of the things he has, has such a specific tool that if used in any other facet, like you're going to get smoked for it. However, after playing a while with him, I think this character, although not JP level or Marissa level, I think if you burn your opponent out with this character, he is like absurd. I think he's absurd if you're burnt out. Um, Yasar becomes absurd. Uh, pretty much all of his normals, particularly like his his overhead and then like his uh, forward heavy kick, they become very good as well. Um, I think he's very good, honestly. Uh, although his wind charge, I think uh, it's, it's kind of weird um, because it, you're forced to time it because as soon as wind charge comes out, people are going to neutral jump like hell. They're going to try jump backing. They're not going to try to get hit by Eagle Spike. They're not going to try getting hit by Cyclone. Um, which I think makes some of his matchups really bad. If you, if there's like characters like Luke, like uh, Guile, like JP, like DJ, like Ryu, characters that can stop him from charging Whirlwind Shot and trying to get in through Eagle Spike. Well, not Eagle Spike, that doesn't let you in, uh, excuse me. Um, through, what's it called? The, the Whirlwind move. I think characters like that really do well against him, which I think holds him back a ton. What also holds him back is possibly my greatest issue with this character. Uh, well, two things. A, his anti-airs are fucking inconsistent. He actually has like four anti-airs. The problem is all of them suck. <laughs> um, and they're beyond inconsistent. I, I more so, more times than not, opt for a uh, heavy cyclone, more times than not. The one that goes vertically straight up, but obviously it goes vertically up. It does have a cross up hitbox, which is nice, but like it just goes vertically up. So if there's some time where you're just blatantly going to miss, which again, like sucks. <laughs> um, as I said before, his matchups are hit and miss. Damage, okay. He's really good when he forces you to block, not really good otherwise. Uh, Yasara is very good against opponents who are burnt out. It's okay when they're not. Um, really, you're only gonna, more times than not, you only get like a throw out of it, which is very good, granted. Um, but I don't think it's the level two that like Blanca is, for instance. I don't think it's JP's level two, for instance, right? Um, he has actually two frame four moves, both his stand light and stand, both his stand lights actually. Stand light punch, stand light kick. Uh, the problem is you're standing. <laughs> so you're gonna have to reveal your ankles if you want to go for those moves, but I think it's bad. I think, really in general, I don't think his normals are great. He has a solid low short, but his heavy punch is relatively stubby. His medium kick is pretty good, especially because it links into target combo, but that's going to be your main whiff punish, whiff, uh, whiff punish button at range, so you're not really going to be able to go into it. Granted, um, on punish counter, you can link it into your low short, but again, your low short doesn't go like insanely far, so it's very spacing dependent. Um, pressure is okay. I, I want to say it's okay. I don't think it's the best in class. Um, I think it's more so a knowledge check more than anything. Um, but him having, I don't think he, does he have a, I forget. I, I was trying to test it, but I forgot to. I don't know if, I think he has a throw loop. Um, with the little cartwheel move, I think that's a throw loop, but I'm not positive. But I think he has one, which also helps out his pressure a ton. So yeah, I think he's, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I think he's like near the middle of the pack, right? Okay, I wasted enough of the people's time. Let's kind of order these a little bit. Uh, obviously, that's fine. I'll put Kimberly. You no, know what? You know what? I'm low on Kimberly. I don't care what I am. I'm low on Kimberly. Um, I I just don't, I never lose to these Kimberlies. Uh, Jamie, there. That's fine. 
Do I think Ryu is better than Manon and Honda? Oh, wait, wait. I didn't even talk about Honda. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a reason I didn't talk about him, by the way. <laughs> because I don't like him. <laughs> and, like, I figured he was going to go down as soon as people got better at perfect parrying, including myself. Uh, I'll be very quick. His damage is good, but, like, he has three things. He has command throw, he has butt slam, he has headbutt. If you're capable of perfect parrying it, like... Even even if you're per, even if you're capable of preparing one of those things, head slam, uh, excuse me, butt slam or headbutt, even if you can perfect parry one, like this character completely goes down the gutter. Like there's nothing he can do. Um, he's very scrubby. I'll give him that. He has big reward for little effort, but um, and to some extent he does require you to play a little differently because you can't just sit there blocking headbutts all day. You're going to waste your drive gauge and get burnt out instantly. But again, like there are options. You can jump parrying jump back di like it, this is just a character that you actually do have to work on to counter you gotta have you gotta go into train mode you gotta lab a little bit but once you do like this character does nothing to you like honestly there's like nothing he can do so yep that's short on him um <laughs> because of that we're putting him lower screw it um i actually i forgot to turn my ringer off god damn it uh do i think ryu's better than manan i do uh that's fine. I think the main thing, I'll put you above him. Uh, do I want to put Cami and DJ in S? Do I think, okay, this is really weird. Cause I think Cami and DJ are arguably on Ken's level, but I don't know putting them on the same tier as Luke and Guile makes sense. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I am far more happy doing this. And honestly, if we're going to do this, I'm willing to put her up and I'm willing to put her up. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's make a deal for people who watch this video. These two, if you wanna put down here, that's fine. These two, if you wanna put down here, that's fine. If you wanna move Dawson up to like here, that's fine. If you think anything in this tier is wrong, but you think the tier is correct, okay, that's fine. I'm not really gonna argue. Geef is the worst. I don't care what any of you say. Again, Dawson being higher. Rashid, I don't think a lot of people know much about him yet, but I think here is fine. I could see an argument for here, of course, though. Um, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, similar to last video, general game state. It's very good. I think this is fine. Like. Every character is capable of winning. Every character is relatively balanced. Uh, definitely one of the more balanced fighting games I've seen on release, without question. Um, I think the main issues with this game are system related. Um, obviously, the drive rush change helped out a lot with consistency, especially off of crouching moves. A lot of people were struggling to drive rush doing the forward forward motion. You being able to hold neutral and then press parry is very good. Um, although it makes some characters like infinitely better. <laughs> um, I do think the main issue with this game, again, is still Drive Rush, though. Um, it's it's just too good, and some characters abuse it way too much. Um, so yeah, other than that, really no issues. This game's great, hope you've been enjoying. Hope you like this video. Again, be in the comments, I'll probably be in there as well. I had some great discussions uh, last video, so hopefully we can get more this time. I will try my hardest to, to actually be on time for the month three tier list. Uh, so please bear with me. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Again, be in the comments. If you got anything to talk about. And yeah, Average Gainer signing off. See y'all next time.